Craig into McKinley territory. We saw him return a kickoff last year against Orville oh. at Northwest. He was the young man that did that last year. He's at Jackson now. He runs with a full head of steam, Elmer. Well, I'll tell you what. He, he runs across the field. And just outran him. Poor containment by number 18. 45-yard return. Colin Ruffin, the young man that was trying to get contained there, Elmer. Got to do a better job than that. Again, week one. Yeah. <laughs> Scrimmage, right? The, you know, they always say the biggest improvement is from game one to game two. That's no. the biggest. Because tomorrow you have a chance to yell at them. <laughs> So first and 10 for Jackson. Geisinger wants to throw. That was intended for Carson Junker. He's the younger brother of Hayden Junker, who was the tight end that went on to Kent State. And well, that was almost a mistake there. But I'll tell you what, they're still gonna have this hitch and go. You think they gotta go because Nehemiah Stovall, he's getting, they, they're jumping that pretty doggone good. He's getting anxious. Yes, he is. Second down here for Jackson. Now Brendan Craig in the backfield, and Craig gets the ball. Craig, the young man who returned it, has that speed, but can't get outside the edge there. Yeah. Brian Pinckney, again, that safety headed to Old Dominion, has such speed on the outside. Reason he was an All-Ohioan last year, Elmer. Brendan Craig, kid, he has a really good, and he's only a junior. He is. He's only a junior. Yeah, he's talented. Yeah. He's a good one. Player down for McKinley. Appears as though that might be Nehemiah Sapaia. While we have this time, Elmer, let's hear about Paul Starkey, former Louisville yeah. coach. I asked John if I could say something about Paul. I uh, wrote something up here. I said, I'd like to take a few minutes to say something about the passing of legendary coach Paul Starkey. Paul passed away a few days ago. Beside being a great coach, I think he was three or four times coach of the year in Stark County. But more important, Paul was a, a great person. As a young coach, I enjoyed competing against Paul's team. But anytime I had a question about coaching philosophy, Paul would sit down and explain his philosophy to me. My condolences to his family. And Paul, may you rest in peace. Pa Paul Starkey was a great man. I, I always appreciated him. He was one of those guys that when you got into coaching, he was well into his tenure. Yes, yes, he was. And uh, and again, when I was first at Kenton South, uh, uh, coached against him and just enjoy because his teams were, he had, he had excellent teams. I, I forget what his record was with some unbelievable yeah, win-loss situation. But, one of the uh, best in Louisville history. Yeah. Geisinger nice to throw. throw here. That's Coolidge. Should be close to the first down, if not there. Thank you for allowing me to do that. I wanted Absolutely. to. Absolutely. I feel it's important to yeah. remember the legends. Yes. So fourth and short now for Jackson. But they Will have they it done. It? <laughs> That's a great question. It looks oh, like they might. They're bringing the beef in. Bringing in the likes of uh, ben 72, 72. He's, he's the big boy. Ben yes, Holzoffel is in there. Clayton Harper, 72. 6'4", a sophomore and 300 pounds, Elmer. Okay, let's see how they do. They're it's Maryland Eye. Power Eye. Power Eye. And that's Corwin oh, Craddith. Oh, made it. Craddith pushed backwards. Uh, according to the spot here, I'm not sure. He oh, did he not did. get there. He get there. McKinley stonewalls it. Boy, we got to see that one. I think this is the definition of a rock solid play of the game if I've ever seen one. Who got in there? Both, both of them, yeah. The corner and the linebacker. What a nice play. Stovall. Five and, five and two. Nehemiah Stovall, the corner, and then that was the safety, Harold Fannin, that came up and made that play, Elmer. Harold Fannin, yep. He's a talented one. And he's only a junior. That's the thing about McKinley. That's why they're dangerous. <laughs> Are they going to measure here? They are. Bringing out the sticks. Now, did they set the football down, or are they going by where that little bean bag is? Oh, McKinley will take over. Okay, with the bean bags, that were in the middle of the football, or <laughs> I don't know how that's determined. I have the rules written down here. It 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 has to be, but what knows? 
<laughs> so it's where the ball, the official, according to the rules from the OHSA, the official will place the orange bean bag where the spot of the ball will be snapped. So that would be probably where the middle of the ball is. The middle of the ball. Right? But, yeah. No. Okay, that's where the nose was supposed to be. That's, that's, that's interesting. So first Because if it was a football, that might have been a first down. I know. <laughs> so McKinley now will take over. They have it on their own 32. They scored on their last drive on a long pass. And Wesley wants to throw again here and has his That's man nice and throw. Xavier Black. He's starting to get he's starting to get his throws down now, too. His arm has gotten a lot better over yeah. the offseason, hasn't yeah. it, Elmer? Yeah. The only thing wrong when he throws deep, he sometimes puts too much air under it. Mm -hmm. Puts that too was much a problem air. last year, though, if yeah. you remember. Yeah. McKinley near midfield now after the catch by Xavier Black. Pickup of 16 there. Elijah Wesley off to a nice start, too. Accounted for 19 touchdowns last year. Gives to Tam Church Good. here. Tam shows that he's speed. Short, he's short by the yard. You know, we've been so used to calling Lemire Garrett's name the last couple years. <laughs> it's about figuring out who the lead rusher is this year, you know? Tell you what, they're starting to pick people up here on the offensive line. Starting to click a little bit. A little bit, yep. Second and goal, or <laughs> second and one, I should say. And the running back ran the right way. <laughs> he did, he did. They're starting to figure things out. Second and short. Wesley to throw again. Wants to go deep for Latrell Snow. Snow is running. Snow makes the catch. Touchdown, McKinley, 43 yards out. <laughs> Latrell Snow, the son of Percy Snow, the former McKinley standout and college football Hall of Famer says, hey, Pops, look at what I can do. It's a good ball. This is a great catch. He's in. Nice catch. Can't beat speed. You cannot. <laughs> Can't beat speed. Bulldogs look good, Elmer. The so they far. look good now. So far. We still nine. We still have nine minutes left to go in the second quarter. I know. So Demonte Marshall now to the hold of Jonah Lytle. Yeah. Kick is up and good. Well, about nine think minutes left in the if, first if half. You think about that. Jackson, if they get that first down by that much, they lose it. You know, it's Different a game, game of inches. It is. It's a game of inches sometimes. McKinley up 17 0. We'll be back after this. Stay connected to what matters most in life with MCTV Internet. We deliver fast, reliable service so you can spend more time streaming your favorite shows, chatting with family or friends, or racing past the competition. Plus, with MCTV's Wi-Fi, you receive strong signals from anywhere in your home. Upgrade your internet today. Give us a call or visit us online. MCTV, we go the extra smile. Everyone's joint pain is different, but one thing is always the same. It interrupts the things that really matter. Spectrum Orthopedics is the area's leader in outpatient total joint replacement surgery our total joint specialists use the most advanced techniques available at our state-of-the-art surgical center, offering the ability to start the recovery process at home just hours after surgery. You have one life to live. Let's get you back to living it. The ride to work you've been waiting for is here. Sarda's Success Express service to the North Canton Industrial Park. Just hop on the Success Express at the Cornerstone or Belden Village Transit Center. And we'll get you to work on time. At Cintas. The Hilton Garden Inn. Fannie Mae. Or Special Pack. Even if you start as early as 6 a.m. Visit SardaOnline.com to learn more about the new, fast, affordable way to get to work in the North Canton Industrial Park. Sarda's Success Express. We're going to work today. Need a ride? So far, it's all McKinley here at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. If you're just tuning in, they look impressive so far. The Spectrum Orthopedics kickoff here from DeMonte Marshall coming up. Goes the way again of Brendan Craig Don't and goes out of bounds. That drives some Elmer. Okay, number of plays was three, total yards 68, time of possession 107. 
It was a 43-yard TD pass from Wesley to Snow, and the extra point was good. Uh, it's McKinley 17, Jackson 0. Uh, uh, Snow now has two catches for 87 yards. So you picked up where Pops left off on McKinley, right? Well. Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> he looks good, though. Yeah, he looks good. That was a great catch. No. He's definitely a deep play threat. Yeah. He's shown that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, last year, Jackson's three losses, they came to McKinley, Mayfield, and Euclid. Euclid was the playoff game they lost, but they never lost a game by more than 16 points. So McKinley's got them down quite a bit here as the handoff goes to Corwin Craddock on first down. There's a lot of football still to be played here. And uh, I know Jackson's well coached. And uh, they just got to regroup here and get a score here. You know what, though? I thought it was interesting because Tim Budd talked to us a lot during the week, the sixth year coach at Jackson. He talked to us a lot about how this is important, not just to play the game, but to get kids out, get them the opportunity to be with their friends, get them out from behind screens. A lot of this to him was just the opportunity to have the physical activity, you know? Yeah. He'd like to win, obviously. He said he's competitive, but he understands the importance of it as Brett Blauner catches it here. Attempts to make a nice play, but McKinley's speed. Again, gets out See. there. Nehemiah Stovall out there again that corner. But he has to, when he, the corner there, when he takes on that wide receiver, he has to stay outside. He came inside. He has to make that guy come back inside. He, but they just have so much speed they make up for it. They do. They it's make like, up for it. You know, all you need is to do is to stop him just a little bit, and three other red shirts are there to help you out. So third and short here for Jackson. Can they convert? Geisinger to throw. That's Blauner. First Blauner down. just has that first down. Brett Blauner expected to get him some time this year at that slot wide receiver. Had just five catches last year. He's been a, an important target here <laughs> early on for, for Hunter Geisinger. You know, the other thing, though, Elmer, is they, they have to replace a Jake Ryan. Leading receiver last year, oh, leader yeah. on defense. I mean, we talked about it. He's just all over the field. He's, I mean, he was, where'd he wind up going? He went up to Colgate. Colgate, yeah, that's right. Up in Hamilton, New York. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. Pretty impressive, I, huh? I do not know where that is. <laughs> that's where Colgate is. <laughs> That's all you know about Hamilton, New York. You couldn't. Go you ahead, look it up. Go ahead, Mr. Wiz. You couldn't tell me about the. You couldn't tell me about the uh, the dining options in Hamilton, New York, could you? I was. Oh God, I was up there when I was in my twenties. <laughs> Stuff over fifty years ago. Here comes reverse. This is Blauner. He has some blockers, but McKinley's speed fills those holes quickly. Yeah. After a very minimal gain. Uh, but they, they picked up seven on that. Almost eight. Yeah. Seemed like it was a lot less than it was. Because, uh. again, Jackson's Jackson's development time of plays seems a little, it's a little slow. Slow? I think. As compared to McKinley's speed, yeah. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Second and short here. And off to Corwin Craddith. Craddith finally has a bit of an edge. Corwin gets out to the edge and picks up a first down and more. That's what it's going to take. Yeah, they're starting to come along. There's a lot of time left here. Can they stop McKinley, though? We'll find out. <laughs> I'll let you know in a couple hours. <laughs> Please do. OK. Give you me can, a call. Let you, me know. You can quote me. <laughs> <laughs> it's normally don't quote me. This time it's you can quote me. Oh. And off goes to Craddith again. Now, what should Geisinger have done there, Elmer? Should he have kept it, or did he read that right? Well. I know it. <laughs> well, if he just keeps going outside. 
I mean, I think no that was the right read. Do you? Sure. I mean, but if the running back brought it back up inside. So second and about seven. Ball at the McKinley 30. Geisinger wants to throw, wants to throw the deep ball for Coolidge oh. over his head. Oh, hit his hands. It was right there when he couldn't hang on. He was in double coverage back there too. Back there on that coverage was Brian Pinckney and also helping out defensively for McKinley was Caleb Ruffin, the safety and corner respectively. Oh, that's that gotta be cut. That's a good throw. Johnny Coolidge was a little banged up last year, but still had two touchdown catches. We saw one of them against Perry. Even though the kid from McKinley has more yards throwing deep, this kid here throws a deep ball very well. Does he? He doesn't throw in as much loft on it. He gets it out there. Rolls out this Left. time. Throws. Nice throw. As a catch is made. Now for a first down, that's Coolidge. Another impressive throw by him. Yeah, that's going to his left. Here's a look at that, Elmer. Makes a nice throw. Just gets his shoulders around and boom. That's a great throw. They don't, they don't teach that, do they? <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. You try to anyways, but it's not natural. To, you know, to, to, to put that shoulder back, right shoulder back when you're going to your left. Coolidge in motion, gets the ball. Yeah, Coolidge throwback. wants to throw, was looking for Geisinger, nothing was there. Coolidge runs to the outside and he's brought down. Kinley was ready for that one. Manny Powell out there, that outside linebacker, led the team last year in tackles for loss and yeah. sacks, moved from this defensive line. This was going to be a, a throwback to the quarterback, but McKinley did, did a good job of defending it. Manny Powell, offer from Central Michigan on the table for the junior, 6'2", 225. He was a beast last year, Elmer. Yeah. Remember him? Yeah. Okay, so second and long here. One to his left again. Rolls left, wants to throw. Tries to set his feet, oh. but he's brought down, and guess who? Manny Powell, the linebacker. He just wreaks havoc. Yeah. Second McKinley sack of the game, according to Bob Jeffries, our yeah. statistician. Here's a look at it, Elmer. Good quickness. Third and long now. Ball at the McKinley 25. Geisinger wants to throw, steps up, now he runs. Geisinger gets to the outside and then he's pushed out of bounds. Caleb Ruffin, the corner for McKinley, the one that forces him out. Twin brother with Colin Ruffin on this team. Be interesting, are they gonna kick it here? They are, you get your look at... Paxos. You, yeah, that's right, the Greek. Hey. Wonder if he likes baklava. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. I, I, I've yet to meet a Greek that doesn't. <laughs> Coming from a big Greek family, that is. Are you Greek? I didn't know that. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> Shut up. You knew that. 37 oh. yards. Paxos miss hits the kick. No, it was a bad snap. Bad snap. All right, we'll take a break. McKinley up by 17. They get the ball when we come back with four minutes left in the first half. Hi, I'm Nick Langenfeld, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union. Whether you visit our main office in Near Street South, our downtown Maslin location on Federal Avenue, or our Canton office on Whipple Avenue in the Acme Fresh Market store. Our friendly staff is committed to serving all your financial needs. Now more than ever, it's time to bring a friend into the family. Now is new. 
Altman Immediate Care is now Altman Now Urgent Care. Walk in, get care, and go home. The average turnaround time is less than an hour. Now is noon. When your doctor's office is closed and you don't need the ER, choose Altman Now Urgent Care Center. Altman Healthcare providers treat minor injuries and illnesses, such as flu and fever, sprains and strains, upper respiratory infections, and sore throat. Now is noon. Now open at Washington Square from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. The new Altman Now Urgent Care. Now is noon. Everyone's joint pain is different, but one thing is always the same. It interrupts the things that really matter. Spectrum Orthopedics is the area's leader in outpatient total joint replacement surgery. Our total joint specialists use the most advanced techniques available at our state-of-the-art surgical center, offering the ability to start the recovery process at home just hours after surgery. You have one life to live. Let's get you back to living it. One. Ladies and gentlemen, two. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. I feel this is going to be a big day. Life were only like this. You wouldn't want to miss this. Looking forward to it. What's this all about? This is very exciting. So cool. You two were great. Mind if I have a look? I'm delighted to be here. Amen. I am well, very groovy, very groovy. Rick has some fun today. I like it. I like it a lot. That's all there is to it. I've heard a lot about you. I've heard a lot about you, too. Nice look at McKinley and Jackson there. Week one at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. First of, well, six weeks, we hope at least for both of these teams as we play amidst the COVID pandemic with all the new restrictions and such. And McKinley looks impressive so far on the Old Carolina Barbecue Company scoreboard. First and 10 at their own 20. Wesley wants to throw. Ah. Just a bit wide of his intended target. That was Dejour Garrett. DJ again, the younger brother of Lemire. Throw just a bit wide there, Elmer. Just a little bit wide. There's his numbers for the day. Five of 10, 157 yards. Yikes. Having a good half. 30, 31 yards average. Throw back here on the screen and some running space for McKinley. That was Xavier Black. Xavier's so dangerous, one of many targets that McKinley can get the ball to. That, that's his first catch, isn't it? I think. Second, second. Second catch. Rain starting to come down again out there, ever so slightly. We hope it doesn't delay us again. So we were in a delay to start tonight. Wesley hands off. That's to Tam Church. Nice tackle by 14. Church stopped at the line. That was Griffin McKinney on the tackle there, Elmer. Yeah. Junior. Nice tackle. Linebacker. No, it was, that was Baker. Oh, was it again? Yeah, Baker was the one who wrapped him up, and then McKinney yeah, finished good. it off. Jane Baker's a good ball player. Baker's, he's, he's been a very active, hasn't he? He has. So second, about 10 here. Ball with McKinley at their own 32. Wesley, again, wants to throw, looks over the middle. That's DJ Garrett, all alone. Nobody near him and a first down into Jackson territory. Nobody near him. Forty-eight yard line now of Jackson. Under three minutes in the first half. Leslie again checks to the sideline. Wants to throw, goes middle, DJ Garrett again there, second catch in a row. Another first down, but a flag appears to be down on the far side of the field. Motion maybe? First 
First penalty of the game. Except for that kickoff, but I don't count that. What are you thinking? Be interesting to see here. <laughs> no, not thinking anything. Just watch it. So, first and 15 now. Rain really coming down now out there. A little bit of wind, too. Wesley wants to throw, wants to go deep for Latrell Snow again. Tries to catch up fair. to it. And that's a flag. Yeah. Got his feet tied up with Dylan Fonte out there. And well, Dylan, the corner, knew that Latrell had him beat. <laughs> What are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Six three and can run. I mean, what can what, look here, look at this? What can you do with speed? What? Why are they moving coming back here? Well, because they're there. It's not spot foul. It's what? It's not spot foul, right? Oh, oh, yard. okay. Oh, Just fifteen yard penalty. You're oh, thinking okay. you're thinking NFL rules. Uh, um, okay. Thank the Steelers. Yeah, <laughs> not the Steelers, Oliver. <laughs> I know, we're okay. jealous. I, I know. Ball at the 38-yard line now of Jackson. Wesley, broken play again. Going to try to run, but he's going backwards, and that's not a good plan. Griffin McKinney, that linebacker for Jackson. I'll tell you who made this play, the Baker kid again. He stuffed the, the oh boy. He stuffed the pulling guard right here, and there was no place for him to go. He's a pretty good football player, 24. Colleges are looking at him. Look at this rain coming down. It is just absolutely pouring. Wesley throws, that's black. Xavier to the edge and pick some of it back up there. This rain is just absolutely pelting the ground right now. These conditions are certainly not ideal. <laughs> Don't you agree? Yeah. <laughs> it's ideal up here. Yeah, for us. Put my hand out here for a second. No, take my hand out. Too bad we don't have a Keurig machine up here. We could have a coffee and <laughs> some donuts. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Lord. That's what we need. We got to get a remote Keurig machine. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if we can adjust our, our camera to one of the light fixtures up there. But I mean, my Lord, is this bad. I mean, there's rain and then there's this. This is uh, this is like something out of like a. We just gotta hope there's no lightning. It's like something out of a biblical tale yeah. with how hard it's coming down here. Hence Noah and the ark. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I was gonna say. Hence. But we don't have Noah on the field anymore to tell us about that uh, ark. Yeah, we missed his words of wisdom. We did. Yes. He'd be loving this right now. Oh, he would. He'd have all types of great words. <laughs> so third and 12 here. McKinley with the ball in the Jackson 40. Wesley, low snap, wants to throw. Looks downfield, still looking, still looking. Now throws, no one was there. Intended for Latrell Snow. It's gonna be hard to throw the ball in this. It's gonna be hard to throw it. Oh, as if COVID wasn't enough. <laughs> as if COVID was not enough. <laughs> Harold Fannin will punt it now, first time tonight. What did you used to do to prepare for rain like this, Elmer, when you were coaching? <laughs> or did you just get wet? You just got wet. Uh, Pray, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Now here, you know, here we go. This kicking game, snap in this kind of situation. 
I have seen heavy rain before. I don't know if I've ever seen anything quite like this before. <laughs> He's only back 12 yards. Yeah, I think we'd keep playing through this, right? Bad snap. Fannin runs to his right. And how about that? Going to be downed at the one-yard line. Wow. I don't know if number 10 got too fancy with that one. That was... <laughs> <laughs> Boy, what do you do here? <laughs> Pray. <laughs> right? <laughs> Where's he going? Where's the bag at? Oh, I think it's right at the one. Yeah, it is. It's right at the one. You see it down there. It's at the, the oh, middle. Oh, the far one. The yeah. Far hash, okay. Yeah, middle far hash. <sighs> Safety is in play here, isn't it? QB keeper. Okay. That gives you some breathing room. Yeah. I wonder if the band's going to play at halftime. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> you hope. Hey, they're, they, 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 they're part of the show. They are. No, they are. I'm not they saying sure. they are. You know, hey, if the players can play in the ring, the band can play in the ring. <laughs> Careful there. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm defending. <laughs> I'm defending. <laughs> well, my paper is getting a little wet yeah, up here. Uh, any indication of where we're at? It's 26 seconds. What's the chances of going 90 some yards in 26 seconds? Not very high. No, not very good. What are your thoughts through the first half so far, Elmer? <sighs> the quarterback from uh, Jackson has impressed me with his throwing ability. Um, McKinley has great speed in their skill kids. Uh, I think they have some work to do on their running game if yeah. they want to be a balanced team. But the kicking game? The kicking game has improved. There's no question. Well, I think he's just going to another QB keeper. I think Jackson's just going to go into the half down 17-0. Oh, sure. I think they're pretty content with that. Hey, second half, the weather like this, you never know what's going to happen. You just hope to get out of here, don't you? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Like I said. <laughs> You're not we, down there, though. All we need is a curing machine. I'd be a happy man. I'll take care of you. I'll call all the right. local Starbucks up and see Please. what they say. It's I'll, pay. I'll pay. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> it's halftime. It's raining and it is pouring outside, but McKinley pouring it on to Jackson through a half so far up by 17. We'll be back to go through the first half after this. Y'all know it's football season. Round these parts, football season is barbecue season. If you want to score big on game day, make Slow Smoke Old Carolina Barbecue your go-to spot before, during, and after all the games. No need to cook on Friday. Meet before the game at Old Carolina or grab a party pack and host the ultimate college or pro football party featuring award-winning ribs, tender pulled pork, and jumbo smoked wings. We have options for all your pigskin pig outs. Get more info at oldcarolina.com. Old Carolina Barbecue Company. Meet before the game. There's something special about our community. It's a feeling, a spirit, and you can sense it and see it in everyone who lives and works here. Everyone in our community matters. You matter. It's a simple concept. Yet its message carries a great impact, which we all need to hear. Every conversation, each pay it forward message can have an incredible impact on someone else's life. It can start with just two simple words. You matter. You matter. 
you matter. Got a news tip? Email us at newstip at whbc.com. For everything WHBC, news, weather and sports, personality blogs and more, log on to whbc.com. Well, I'd say that tells a pretty good story there as there's water on the lens of our camera here at halftime. 17 mm. nothing, McKinley leads at the half. And, well, the statistics tell a pretty good story on our old Carolina Barbecue Company scoreboard. John Bozica, Elmer Sheets, Bob Jeffries, our statistician, the image video crew. First half stats, Elmer, team stats first. Go ahead. Um, rushing yards, Jackson 44, McKinley 94. Passing yards, Jackson 39, McKinley 195. First downs for Jackson, four, 12 for McKinley. Total yards, Jackson 84, McKinley 289. Wow. Number of plays, is a 28 for Jackson, 29 for McKinley. Average yards per play for Jackson is three yards for McKinley, 9.9. .9. Uh, both teams have one penalty. Jackson has one for 15, and McKinley has four, five. Individually, okay, uh, Hunter Gessinger is five for 11 for 39 yards. Uh, Corwin uh, Kratich, Kratich. Kratich has seven rushes, 28 yards. Johnny Kulik has two catches for 15 yards, and Brett Blanner has two catches for 10. For McKinley individually, Eliza Wesley ha is 8 for 14 for 195 yards, two TDs. He also is the leading rusher with 10 rushes for 71 yards. Uh, Tam Church has five rushes for 23 yards. The transfer from Glen Oak, Latrell Snow, has two catches, 87 yards and one TD. And Brandon Foster for McKinley has one catch for uh, 43 yards. It's not a bad average for both those young men in one TD. This Omni Orthopedics halftime show, and uh, Elmer, we have a look at the scores here. First, uh, that touchdown that went to, well, the likes of, uh, well, Wesley to Foster here. A pretty excellent throw here and pretty great play. He's so wide open, and I tell you what, that's a great effort running the ball. He broke that tackle. Stiff arm, the other yeah. guy. And here's the other throw. This or is the same throw again. Yeah. It's a nice play. Yeah. Athletes. He just yeah. He just outran the defensive back. Second touchdown then went to Latrell Snow. I know this was This a, is a great catch. I know this catch really impressed you, Elmer. Yeah, this is a great catch. If we can see that here in a moment on our Omni Orthopedics yeah. halftime show. Nonetheless, I mean, Latrell Snow, you, you talked about it. Here it is right here. Just dove out for it. Nice catch. Great concentration. What does he do so well? Who? Latrell Snow. Outruns people. <laughs> just an athlete, right? <laughs> he just outruns people. He's an athlete out there. They don't call him the six best. Three. <laughs> they don't call him the best color man in the business. Yeah. For nothing. Hey. What, what am I going to say? He has a nice uniform, you know. <laughs> he does. But right? yes, it's a very nice uniform. But uh, he, he's just an athlete out there. In the that bloodlines, right? Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Very pretty good bloodlines there. Percy, his father, Latrell making dad happy. Yes, he is. On the opening night. Halftime, McKinley up. We'll be back with the second half after this. Get a great deal on the CRV at the Honda Summer Clearance Event today. Your Honda dealer is open and ready to get you into a new HRV or CRV at the Honda Summer Clearance Event. 
Put your health into the hands of experts right in your own backyard. Omni is your hometown choice. For more than 25 years, Omni Orthopedics has been treating a full range of orthopedic problems. Omni was voted best of the best in 2019 with another nomination in 2020 for the sixth straight year. And we continue to grow to better serve you with a new Oasis Surgical Center coming soon and Omni Express, our walk-in clinic. Your hometown choice. Now with three locations in Canton, Alliance, and Dover to serve you. Now is new. Altman Immediate Care is now Altman Now Urgent Care. Walk in, get care, and go home. The average turnaround time is less than an hour. Now is new. When your doctor's office is closed and you don't need the ER, choose Altman Now Urgent Care Center. Altman Healthcare providers treat minor injuries and illnesses, such as flu and fever, sprains and strains, upper respiratory infections, and sore throat. Now is new. Now open at Washington Square from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. The new Altman Now Urgent Care. Now is new. Wake up with Canton's Morning News. Pam Cook reports all the news, traffic, and weather you need to get your day started. News Talk 1480 WHBC. Online at whbc.com. Your Honda dealer is open and ready to get you into a new Civic or a Accord. Get a great deal on the Civic Sedan at the Honda Summer Clearance Event today. And we return back in here to Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. Halftime, start of the third quarter, and McKinley leading going into the second half, 17 to nothing. Elmer, impressive first half by the Bulldogs as the Old Carolina Barbecue Company scoreboard has them uh, leading Jackson in more ways than just one. The stats really tell the story as well. Uh, the, the stats are unbelievable how one-sided they are to uh, uh, McKinley side in, in their favor. Um, but you know, because of all the rain and everything else we had, uh, Jackson's still in this game. And when you have a good quarterback like they have, uh, you get a, a few breaks here on the specialty teams, um, they could be back in it there, you know. So um, it's going to be, see how they come out the second half here, that's for sure. 289 total yards from McKinley to 84. 80. Yep, that's pretty one sided there. What does Jackson need to do in the second half? What do they really need to do other than get another week of play in? <laughs> um, you know, they get a score. They get a score one touchdown, then they get a score a second touchdown, then they get a score a third touchdown. Okay, I mean, that sounds really stupid, I'm, I'm sure. But, you know, you can't say, hey, we're down 17 nothing. You got to go out and score a touchdown. They haven't. They got zero. They got a goose they didn't egg. They put anything up there. on the board. Yeah, they got a they got a goose egg up there, and so uh, they got to get it in the end zone and then get some momentum going. Well, you made yeah. an interesting point to me too during the break there. Sorry to cut you off. No but, problem. But you were saying that like, you know, what do you tell your kids during a break like that? What what would you have told your kids during a break like that? That's that. Well, long? you know, you <laughs> you get you know how much time you have, and then of course you get a a rain delay because of the lightning and stuff like that. It's it's so much tougher, you know, because you feel you have them ready to go after that 10 minute break, and then then you know it's 35 minutes, you know, and now you're saying, what are you going to do? Stand up there and talk for 35 minutes? Kids will go fall, and they'll be falling asleep. Um, so it, it it'll be interesting to see how Jackson come. Again, they just need that first score. I was going to say, I mean, at a point, there's only so much that you can say during yeah. that time. You yeah. know, I mean, there's – and it's like this has already been a tough enough night for you because you've been stuck with, you know, rain delays. You've been stuck with everything that's been going on. And, and I mean, I know that the, the contents of this broadcast won't really show those rain delays, but we have had the delays. And, you know, you have to talk about how the effect that it's had on the game and how it's changed the way that these kids are probably viewing their evening at this yeah. point. Now, the, you, know? you know, the question is, you know, how fired up is McKinley going to be the second half? You would think pretty fired up at this point. Well, you, you think, but you don't know. They're kids. And if anybody tells you they know how to read kids, they're lying. <laughs> okay? Because uh, they're, they're difficult to read. I was going to say, you taught for how many years? And 136, I think. Or no, was it maybe 35. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, it... Spectrum kickoff to start the second half. DeMonte Marshall puts his boot into it. It's a squib. And Brendan Craig will field it. Craig trying to make oh, something nice happen, but there's Manny Powell. 
the linebacker who's had a disruptive night on the defensive side of the football and on the kickoff return team continues that there, Elmer. Well, I'll tell you what.